You didn't say one. How do we know when it starts? It, that's the beginning <laughs> I, of that? All right. I know that was the joke. <laughs> All right. Now, everybody, I want you to introduce yourselves so people can match names with voices. You can use your real name or your username if you, if you want to go by a specific internet moniker. That's fine. Uh, to mention myself, I am Zydrate. I do not care for my real name because it might be changed in a few years. So we'll see about that. Hopefully you change it to something like Chuck Norris. It's probably going to be Livia. Anyway. Or Optimus Prime. No. Timber. What about, you should change it to Labia. No, I'm, Labia. <laughs> I'm sorry. A little uh, on the nose, but all right. Yeah, exactly. Um, Timber, <laughs> a.k.a. My name is Jeff. AKA, yeah. Just watch podcast too. Don't worry about it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, all right. All right. Oh, wait, so we're going like from bottom to top? Okay. Uh, um... Uh, you know what, when I, when I do, like, the talking points, we can go from top to bottom, so Conkroller needs to be talking. Ah, okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm Conkroller, just call me Conk, Conkroller, whatever. Conk sounds like a slur. It really does. Fucking <laughs> Conk, God! Yeah. <laughs> Crunkroller should not... Alright. Pay attention. Alright, All right, uh, I'm Pasta. Not any type of pasta in, in specific. Yeah, just call me Pasta. Aka Shane. Real quick question for Conk and Pasta. Uh, where, where are y'all from? Because I'm hearing accents. Uh, I am from Scotland, actually. Uh, okay. UK. Fair enough. Pasta, pay attention. I am paying attention. Hey, they answer the goddamn from. question. <laughs> oh, oh! I thought you meant I, I, I had an accent too. I didn't know I did. Anyway, no, I like literally live like half an hour away from Jeff, like maybe an hour. So. Yeah, he's just weird. That's all the way. Yeah, uh, yeah. So. I, I do hear an accent. That's weird. That is. Okay. <laughs> Lily, hey. I can leave. Be at his house before, before, before this he podcast. Has, and he has he has braces. <laughs> that might also affect his accent. True. Yeah. Okay. All right. Y'all ready for our topic of the day? Yeah, it was with it. All yeah. right. I want to talk about hidden gems. The kind of game where nobody knows I play this or. But I loved it. Or games that didn't get a lot of media attention. Um, may, may have had some reviews across various websites. I've got a couple games I could mention. I could talk about Fable again. But I talked a little bit about that in, in the end of the last podcast. So I'll try not to dig into that too much. But I got a couple ideas. But as, as usual, we're just going to go d- uh, top from bottom. Top to bottom. From the Discord uh, chat channel. So, I'm saying um a lot. I'm sorry. <laughs> Alright, Conk uh, yeah. What? Yeah, what kind of games did you play, like, recently or when you were a kid that just didn't... That kind of burnt bright, but quickly. That kind of thing. To be honest, have you ever heard of the game Broken Sword? Broken Sword, no. But I'm going to start Googling no. these things, because I'm not going to yeah. have heard of any of this. So, um, I remember years, years ago, it was a uh, kind of an Xbox demo, and it was, uh, it's, it hit you in quite hard, right? It was, it was like a, a sort of puzzly kind of game. And, um, can, it was, is my thing okay? Can you hear me? Yeah, you're yeah. fine. Ah, uh, okay, my, I think my internet browser froze, that's why. <laughs> uh, Broken Sword, yeah, it's, um, so I was looking kind of read it you know if you had subreddit uh tip of my joystick yeah no. <laughs> i've used it before <laughs> yeah, yeah yeah so you basically post a description of the game that you're looking for and then um people help you out of try uh locate what kind of game you're looking for so i did that and then i found broken sword 3 and it's not the most well-known game anyway i'd say reviews on steam i think were pretty mixed but man i was absolutely hooked in okay it's, uh, I think it's the third one in the series, so it follows on from the other ones, but I didn't play any of the others. I think it's kind of got the same kind of humor as, um, what are those, Monkey Island games, or the Pirate Island? Monkey Island ones? Yeah, okay, it looks yeah, a little bit Monkey on that Island. line. I'm googling it, and there's a video with The Witcher 3 Broken Sword Fail. I'm like, no, Google. Broken Sword Fail? Oh, The Witcher Broken Sword Fail. Yeah. <laughs> All right. No, that's not what I'm looking at. But so yeah, I 
I play this game. I didn't really see much about it, but man, it's 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 not your kind of stereotypical puzzle game where it's right in your face. Like there is quite a bit of thinking to it, which sometimes gets a bit you know annoying, and then you end up having to go into Google and having to Google the walkthrough. That's how I have to cheat basically. It is six dollars on Steam. It's two thousand three. Okay. Two thousand three. Yeah, that's probably yeah because I had it for the original Xbox. Pretty sure. And this I mean, the and this also. and this game meant a lot to you. Like you played the it to death or something that you just loved. Uh, you were all into it. Yeah, that was it. Cause I had the demo, but to be honest, while I was young, didn't really have any money. I didn't have any money. I was like young. So I, I played the demo probably about like five times. Dude, that's what I did with the Half-Life demo because I was the same. I was oh young and broke, so I just played the yeah. uh, the demos for all the Half-Life like games. Over and over and over. And you could go through all these different scenarios of what would happen. So like the first thing, I think you uh, wake up in a plane and the pilot's knocked out. And you can like end up making the plane fall down and stuff. And I was just going through all the different combinations of what would happen. Pretty much exhausted every single option. That's when you said a Half Life. To be honest, I I played Half Life recently. I, I, w- I wouldn't call that a hidden gem, though. Yeah, no, I wouldn't call, <laughs> would call it a hidden gem. But I, I didn't enjoy Half Life at all. Half Life? What's that? Yeah. <laughs> how, how did they make a third one of that? I'm skimming some of the reviews <laughs> for Broken Sword Three. It looks like most of them people just hate the controls. Like the controls are abysmal. Hmm. Could There's be most of the like other games though. Yeah. Yeah. So is that, is that yours? No other ones? Like, you can list to uh, more than one if you want. That's a no. <laughs> like, no. <I> <laughs> Alright. Alright, Pasta, we'll move to you. If, if you think of another one later, Conk, then just be like, oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'll hit you with it. Yeah. Unless we That's change it. topics entirely, but until then. Uh, I've actually got a few. Um, as as a kid, obviously a huge uh, Resident Evil fan. So obviously I played some of the main games like uh, you know Nemesis, Code Veronica, and like you know some, even some of the recent ones. Uh, and then like digging around, I found out about some like lesser known Resident Evil names. Uh, the one that I got into was the um, Outbreak Files, and um, that that was pretty good. Um, and also, uh, like as a kid, uh, this is a different game. Uh, as a kid, like I never really, I mean, I was kind of into Crash, but not much into Spyro. But then, the, like, there's this uh, other s- series of games that I played called uh, Gex, and uh, it was basically if uh, the oh Gex, yeah, Sorry, that, was, that was amazing. <laughs> and like, <laughs> how do you spell that? I'm... It's G E X. Yeah, it's only G E X. Yeah. <laughs> Just imagine the same as a no, I, no, 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 I got this. Imagine if James Bond had a baby. That's a lizard. Uh, like, yeah. Imagine if James Bond crossbreeded with the a gecko from from Geico. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and c- combine that with the episode of Teen Titans where they went through all the TV shows. <laughs> That's what Gex was. Uh, yeah, I played that on the PlayStation One. Uh, I think, yeah, it would be. Yeah, and I think they had a game for the Game Boy. If I, I want to say they had a Gex game for the Game Boy. Um, they did. Yeah. Okay. M- most of what uh, I'm seeing here is a uh, PlayStation. Yeah, PlayStation. They had a game for the Game Boy that I had gotten. Um, so yeah, I played those a lot. My sister got me into those. And it was funny too, cause like it was like one of those like childhood moments where like you you weren't allowed to play it, cause like your parents like oh eh, this is bad for you, you know it's like violent and. There is I'm seeing a picture of Deep Pocket Gecko with a like very scantily clad human woman, yeah, <laughs> and, it's a, and like a, a spy cat Honka, suit next to him. It? What? Yeah. Uh, Honka. Oh. <laughs> yeah, so for me, Gex was like one of those games that I kind of had a sneak to play. Um, and I think like the only one that like my mom would allow me to play what was the Game Boy one. And obviously that's because like the Game Boy can show, you know, show but so much like violence and all that. <laughs> and uh, so uh, but as, as for the PlayStation games, I, I kind of had to sneak around to play that. It was my sister's PlayStation too, so... <laughs> Like I not I not only had to sneak past my mom but my sister too to play, um so uh one and uh, and 
and the other game that actually comes to mind, you've probably heard of it. I don't know if it's really considered a hidden gem. It was for me for quite a while, because like, it wasn't until high school until I discovered it. Um, Manhunt, the uh, Manhunt games. Yeah, 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 yeah. Th yeah. Those, that, that, I wouldn't call that hidden, because... Is Manhunt the one that got like banned in a lot of countries? Yeah, yeah it, it was a really banned like game. So like, I don't know. I guess I wouldn't call it hidden gem. It's probably maybe a cult classic that like not everybody would know about, but like yeah. like, like a niche of people would know about. Yeah, my my brother played it, and I I never yeah. really got around to it. So, yeah, so those are like the main hidden gems that I played as a kid. Okay. I was gonna say, have you guys heard of the game Lord of the Rings: The Third Age? Uh, no, but I did play the PlayStation 2 Lord of the Rings, uh, Two Towers, and uh, Baton of the King. Baton of the King, yeah. I yeah. played this... W which one? You said the Third Age? Yeah, it's like a, it was an RPG. Uh, no, I did not play that one. I played this, like, top-down RPG one. Um, I don't, I don't remember what the title was called. But I'm Googling this, not the Third Age, and no, I didn't play this. This... This one it looks like, like a it looks like Final around. Fantasy. Yeah, that was it basically. It's like Final <laughs> Fantasy set in like the Lord of the Rings universe. Oh my god, man! I I think I was the only one that had that game. <laughs> yeah, I, I never knew that game. Just it really looks cool. a little bit like oh, uh, Final Fantasy X, which I adored. I would play that. <laughs> it's like you have you control these um, bunch of characters which aren't like directly related to the story. But it kind of intertwines with the story at some points. Like you uh, see people from the actual main like movies. And um, what's the? Is it the Twin Towers? Uh, or two towers? Sorry. Uh, what about the Twin Towers? Uh, that's, um, a that's a different story altogether. <laughs> <laughs> you know the movie when oh, no. there's that monster that's in the water. Oh, uh, I know exactly what you're talking about. Yeah. Um, yeah, I forgot what it's called, but it guards the um. Called the uh, Dwarf's Temple thing that he went into. Yeah, yeah, he yeah, 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 got the uh, thing. You have to fight that. You have to fight that monster, and uh, I think it it's called the Watcher in the Water. Okay, Watcher in the Water. Yeah. Wait. Uh, so, wait fight... so that was also a boss in the uh, yeah. Age game. Okay. And so was um, Balrog at one point, I think. I'm actually curious. How is the fight with that one? Is it like the Twin Towers where you literally just like? Try to dodge the tentacles or something? Or like, it's more of a. Um, well, it was an RPG, so it's just kind of like turn based. Oh, okay. Yeah, oh. Turn Can't really dodge it. <laughs> no. Um, was that all that you had, Pasta? Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna jump to me now, obviously. Next in line. Yeah. Um, so last time we did a podcast, we kind of touched on the subject, and I think the one that I mentioned at the time was there was this, uh, there was a psychic game on the OG Xbox. Um, I can't remember what, what it was called now. I, I forgot it already. I have another. I have a psychic game on my list that I'm going to talk about. Um, it was called. Oh, okay, I remember now. It's called Psy. Or it was only like PlayStation 2 and Xbox. I played it on the original Xbox. Um, it was called PsyOps. The oh, okay, that conspiracy. wasn't mine. Um, and it's like you're a psy operative. So like you're basically you're kind of like a spy, but you have psychic abilities. Um, and you're, you, you try to, um, infiltrate a terrorist organization, but you end up getting captured and you have to work your way out with a double agent that's in the thing. Um, and as you progress through the game, you kind of like regain your psi powers or whatever okay. that you lost when you got captured. Um, I think I remember and, that cover. Yeah. The, I remember seeing like the, that. Um, yeah. So like you use your, I don't remember exactly what kind of powers you had. I know like you could, I think you could like control people or like, um, you know, telekinesis, crap like that. But each boss that you fought was kind of like a different, like they kind of, I imagine if you went to a college, everybody has a different major. It's kind of like that with the bosses in the game is like each one has a different thing. Like there's just one dude who's like all about like illusions. So like trying to get to him was just ridiculous. So you'd walk through a wall, like, you'd be walking through a hallway, you'd hear his voices all around you and shit. It was like the, it was the weirdest thing I've ever heard. Oh. Um, but I talked about that one the last podcast so the one i'm gonna bring up this time is actually one that you reminded uh, me of when you talked about tip of the joystick um so i had to ask about this game i played it on i played this also on the original xbox with a friend that i had in like elementary and middle school um it was a game called hunter the reckoning and it was Ooh, basically googling yeah it was like a hack and slash kind of like top down ish not really top down but like what is it called isometric like the diagonal down. Uh, third. Yeah. No, that's like third person. It looks like Resident Evil. Okay. Um, 
a little bit further, but yeah. So it's kind of like um, you use melee, range, and kind of like spell abilities. Like each character has their own thing. The character that I played was um, Father. Es- I think it was Father Esteban Cortez. Uh, they called him the Judge in the game. And like, so basically, you'd fight things each level. Like you go through, you'd be fighting zombies and like all these monster slayer like <laughs> kind of enemies you fight. Um, there was in the bosses where like there was a witch, there was a werewolf that you fought in a graveyard. Uh, but each character had their own things. I don't really remember what the other ones were, but like for the father, one of his like magic attacks was he'd hold up a cross and like shoot out like a holy blast, like in a kind of a cone shape. Yeah, he's got, he's got, is he the one with the crossbow and like the trench coat? Yeah. Okay, there's, so. there's another guy here I'm seeing who has, it looks like a bit of a shotgun, a bandana. He looks very American. Like, <laughs> That's that's some description, very American. Um, <laughs> I mean, he's he, he's got these like cowboy chops on him. There's a woman here with like, like looks like a lightsaber. It's a katana, but it's like bright. But she has a revolver. Yeah, the guy that um, I mean, there's there were three hunter game or um, hunter the reckoning games, so he might be from a different one. The one that okay. I played was like he he has like the little white collar thing like a priest would have. Yeah, yeah, like, I see it. Yeah, that's that's the screenshot yeah. I'm seeing. Um, but he's like his Esteban Cortez is his name apparently. But they always, I think, if I'm right, they call him the Judge in game. But uh, like, I, I remember playing it at the time with my friend. I don't remember aside from playing it with him or talking about it with him, anyone else in my life ever mentioning that game ever. Um, and I, I, like I said, I actually had to go and um, reference that subreddit at the tip of my joystick to get people to remind me what it was because I couldn't remember it at all. Yeah. Aside from like the details of the game that I remember playing, also that's such a great subreddit. Honestly, it really is. It's people helping you figure out the names yeah. you don't remember. But it's mad how people can just identify it just from like such a vague description. <laughs> yeah, it, it, that's the funniest thing is you're like, I remember like you did this, and it was probably on this console around this year. And somebody's yeah. like, Yeah, you're talking about that game, and I'm like, <laughs> You're a god. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm part of this uh, music identification group on Facebook. And it's like, like the same concept. Someone will be there, like, oh, the song goes like this, do 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 do. do. <laughs> no, and then no, they'll be like, we talk about the one that goes beep beep boop bop. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. beep bop boop boop boop. What I do for the music, I actually just Google a line from the song if I can remember at least just a few words. That usually does it for me every yeah. time. Yeah. So when the song doesn't have any words. Yeah. <laughs> Well, then you're fucked. <laughs> Stick it to the dubstep song. It's like the song goes like this. You open your mouth and dial. Or you just, or you just put your microphone up to the washing machine and start hitting it. Yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, all right. Is that was that your couple? Yeah, that was that was mine. Uh, Hunter the Reckoning. If you've never played it, you should definitely try to give it a chance. It's a great game. <laughs> even if it's old. Did you, did you get that for PC? I don't think it's a PC game, honestly. I can, I'll, I'll look. I still have the thing up. You could find um, an emulator for it. Emulator. You could probably so, play it on the PC. Yeah, you probably could. Uh, it was the original. The first game came out on uh, original Xbox. It's and not GameCube. on Steam. I can tell you that. <laughs> so it was on Xbox and GameCube. You probably, love, uh, probably emulate it for the GameCube. I don't think you can emulate yeah. Xbox, but you can emulate it for GameCube. Yeah, it's uh, called Dolphin. Yeah. Alrighty. Not sponsored by Dolphin. <laughs> <laughs> Download now at dolphin.com slash emulator. No, hey, shut hey. up. I'm, I'm, I'm going to have to beep that now. I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> That's fine. I, yeah, uh, you done, Timber? Yeah, I, that, that was mine. Alright. Because I got a couple, and it turns out, I didn't... I knew this at the time, but they're actually the same developers. Um, because it had the similar style. I'm going to talk about both Time Splitters 2 and Second Sight. Oh, oh my god. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Time Splitters. <laughs> I, I think we should just not consider Time Splitters a hit gym anymore because everybody talks about it. Really? <laughs> I didn't, well, every time... time Splitters, man. What a game. I played it. Time Me and my brother. Time Splitters. All right. And Future I mean, yeah, you can talk about it for anybody who hasn't, but I'm just saying, like, among us, Wait, it's not really a fair, fair enough. Among us, sure. But here, when, when I was growing up with it, uh, media outlets and Back stuff weren't, day. yeah, weren't, they weren't really talking about it. Day. When I first was on the internet, uh, nobody was really talking about it. Reviews, it was never, like, I actually got PC Mac Gaming Magazine. Now, again, not sponsored, but I got them, and they had excerpts for, like, console games and stuff. They didn't do exclusively PC. 
Um, they never talked about the, the this developer. They never talked about either of these games. I'm sure if you like did hard research, you could probably find the uh, article on them. But I never saw it. Anyway, uh, before I get, t- I started. I did Time Splitters two first. That was my first game in that franchise. And then I later played Future Perfect, which wasn't as good. It wasn't as fun. The map maker wasn't as robust. And I'm going to talk about that. Uh, when I was young, after my parents divorced, I chose to live with my dad because in my young mind, he seemed like a more stable choice. Turns out he wasn't. Um, maybe on a financial basis, but not on a mental one. And I would lay, I Half my time was spent with my mama anyway. And not because of the whole like split custody type thing. It's just because my dad would go through some shit and just send me off to my mom. So eventually I just moved in with her. And was probably was not as smooth... Uh, living, but it was a lot more stable. I love my mama. Still a, mom, still a mama's boy. But when I was living with my dad, there was a kid upstairs um, in this apartment. Um, I went to school with him, although we I don't think we shared any classes. We talked a lot on the bus and stuff, but he lived right above me. Uh, his name was Cisco. Um, he was a little bit more financially robust, I guess. His mother... He lived with his mother. Um... And I, she just had more money, I guess. <laughs> she, like he had like two or three consoles, and I would get in trouble for turning on my PC. You know, that was the kind of life that we had. So I fled to him often to play games, even get food, because my father was a mental terrorist. Who food denial was his abuse, by the way. He never hit me. I was not abused in that fashion, but abuse is abuse. Food denial was a big one in my youth. Um, sorry for getting for getting a little heavy there. This took a dark turn really quick. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah I, don't, I don't mean that, but uh, Cisco and his mother was like a light in that darkness. And I went upstairs, and he would play games and stuff. He was actually my first exposure to the first Assassin's Creed, which is another topic for another day. I could go, I could do a whole podcast about Assassin's Creed and Ubisoft in general and their games and all that, but we're going to talk about that later. Time Splitters 2 was a very interesting game for me uh, because it was my also my first foray into my creative mind because it had a fairly decent map making module and I remember creating and you guys can all google this if you want but the Unreal Tournament Mobius map Unreal, uh, UT99 Mobius I think that's how you spelled it no that is not how you spell that M-O-B-I-U-S, probably. Uh, Mobius. Morpheus, maybe? M-O-B-I-U-S, Mobius. No, that wasn't it. Shit. No, that ain't it. Anyway, it was a very simple, like, arena map. It was built for four people. It had four different spawn points. It had little nooks and crannies. And I basically recreated that map in Time Splitters 2 for me and Cisco and a couple other friends um, to shoot each other up. And it was a lot of fun. What we also did is I created this survival map because Time Splitters 2 had this zombie mode or infection mode or I forgot exactly what it was called. Um, where you could infect other players. Like, if you spawned 12 people, one of them would be infected with this little green cloud thing, and you'd have to run up and hit people or touch them, and they'd be infected too. And you, the winner was this- the last person to have that. And what was that on? This is Time Splitters 2 I'm still talking about. Okay. And I... Cr- I would... Cr- no, no, no. I would create this map, this big open room, and then a very long hallway... And me and Cisco and a couple of the friends would um, run through that hallway. The rest of the enemies were just bots because they they had AI in there. And the game the, is called Virus, by the way. Virus, thank you. Um, and at the end of that hallway would be a very small room with a bunch of guns and resources and a couple turrets for us to fire down that hallway. And the virus um, AI would respawn. Um so eventually we'd be gunning down this long hallway with like a, a dozen viruses running at us and those those turrets I think ran out of ammo at some point. So basically it was just a huge survival map and we had so much fun doing that and the death matches. That did mo- I won most of the death matches by the way because I was I'm a little more hardcore as he at, than he was. 
And let me tell you a little something about my old friend Cisco. He is the kind of gamer to that he played games like Jade Empire. Y'all remember Jade Empire? Not quite a hidden gem because that's Bioware. That's... I never, I never played, never played Jade Empire. It was basically Jade... Knights of the Old Republic, but in a fake like Chinese type yeah. feudal Knights er- of the era. Like my favorite game of all time. Yeah, Jade Empire is really good. I re- I have it on Steam. I should. I think I had some technical difficulties with trying to record it, so I would have done it if I can. Um, yeah, the second one, those are uh, restored content mods. I definitely recommend it. Nice, but here's here's the thing: like when you play a game like Jade Empire, and I'm gonna get back to the time switch on the second side here in a minute, but just a little bit of an aside here. Um, Jade Empire, you would level up the certain combat skills, like a, a sword style, a melee style, or a magic type, or a big uh, golem form. At the end of the game, if you actually do like side quests and stuff, you can max maybe three or four of those. Um, I, I, um, Cisco was in the end game on Jade Empire, and I loaded up his save file because I just could at the time. And he had skill points on everything. Nothing was above half. And he beat the game like that. And I just don't understand. Because I'm... Me and my, bro- my brother and I are... We're, we're efficient. We're mid-maxers. We try to be as efficient as we can. And that is so alien to us. Let me tell you. <laughs> and he just... He was not a serious gamer. He's very casual. I don't know how he's doing now. I think I have him on Facebook still. But... Um, good guy. Um, not a great gamer. He might be better now. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> You'd hope so after so many great years. Great guy, but suck your video. Yeah, <laughs> great guy. Fuck him. <laughs> 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 anyway, back to the Time Splitters 2. That was a big part of my like social gaming life, and that, I really enjoyed that. It, it holds a great... I'm going to remember that for the most, most of my life, no doubt, until I become senile. Um, it's like that, man. It's, like it's so good. <laughs> yeah, it just it left an impression, and it, I had a good time there. Um, the same developers. Now, I wouldn't discover this until several year, a uh, few years after that that whole thing. Um, Second Sight is Timber. You're talking about psyops. That's what reminded me of Second Sight yeah. because you do something similar. Um, I think Second Sight was actually technically my first is that not exposure. Not a movie? What? Based on a movie, I movie know. I do not know. There actually was a 1989 movie. Huh? Hmm. There was a 19. There's actually, actually a couple movies. 1989, a TV movie 1999, and then a TV movie in 2016. Uh, no. I'm looking at a cover for one of them. That looks nothing like the game. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm sure. <laughs> the game is more of a psychological um thing. Action adventure stealth. Yeah, uh, it was my first exposure to stealth, I believe, as a genre. Not counting Assassin's Creed, maybe. Um, I forget a lot of the beats of the game. You start out with like no memory, and you kind of Jason Bourne your way through the whole thing, trying to piece together back. And you can like make pe- you can make people fly and astral project and control people and. It was a really good game. Like I, I don't remember if I beat it or not because it was a real long time ago. But that that's definitely more of a hidden gem, I think. As far I as game, I've never heard of it. Yeah, yeah. I don't think I've ever heard of that one. It's the same developers, Time Slayers, which you all heard of. So <laughs> it's the yeah. same, same people. Free Radical Design. Code Ma- yeah, Code Masters. Yeah. Uh, uh, what else did Code Masters do? List of Codemasters uh, video games. Oh, Free Radical became they be, they became Crytek. Oh yeah, yeah. I didn't know that. Man, Codemasters yeah. has a shit ton of stuff on their list of games. A lot games. of racing. Console games: Star Wars Battlefront 3. Retreat yeah, pretty... if you cry every time. <laughs> pretty much the last ten years, it's all been F1 games mostly in dirt. Like yeah. F1 dirt and grid games. Yeah, Codemasters. Yeah. Now, um, I could talk more about Fable, but I did, did like 10 minutes of Fable in the last video. <laughs> That's another one I've never played. You definitely should. Start with the first one, obviously. <laughs> I heard there's all that uh, kind of drama with the third one, was it? Yeah. Peter Molyneux. He's a dick. No. He wasn't a dick. He was uh, an overhyping lunatic. 
It's uh, almost like No Man's Sky all over again. Yeah. <laughs> Sean, <laughs> Sean Murphy, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah. I don't have any other talking points except for favorite consoles. Um, I feel like that's going to be a short conversation. After that, we can, I guess we can just shoot the shit, talk about whatever, if we even want to talk about that. Because favorite consoles has become a little less relevant these days, I feel. Every console generation, there's always appointed Victor somehow. I think the last generation, the PlayStation 4 um, won that. And not more people talk about PS4 games than they do Xbox One games. Mm -hmm. Certainly. because there's not really many Xbox One exclusives. Yeah, because they fucking lost. Like, nobody's buying their shit, so they're not putting any money yeah. into it. <laughs> Even now, I talked about the last podcast, I briefly mentioned that I'm actually starting to save up for a PS4 so I can exclusively Same. play Horizon, Horizon Zero Dawn, Zero Dawn <laughs> and Last of Us if I can get it. Oh man, The Last of Us. I actually bought I bought a PS4 probably, I think it was last year or the year before that, Black Friday, and I played Last of Us, and that's honestly an absolute masterpiece. That's another game I actually watched my friend Cisco play. Um, I think when he came to visit a couple years ago, um, he came to visit. He brought his console, and I think he played. It. And there's one part that I'm terrified of: is when your main character dude gets strung upside down, and the little girl's yeah. trying to help him get him down, and a bunch of stuff comes. And just watching it gave me a headache. And I'm not sure if I'll be able to do that part. <laughs> like I'm, I'm scared of that specifically. All you do is turn, really... turn your screen upside down. Yeah, okay. <laughs> or just turn yourself upside down. Yeah, yeah. Upside down on the bed. I will get right on that. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Did you try setting it to Wombo? Wombo? What is that? You know, this Wombo, I Wombo, he Wombo, me, she Wombo, the study uh, of Wombology. It's elementary SpongeBob. Oh, okay. I don't watch SpongeBob. Uh, well, I see nothing but their memes, though. Jesus, that's literally the show. Like, yeah, that's it's the it's show like the memes, meme. the show. It's, it's just memes. SpongeBob meme pan. <laughs> Pretty much. If, As far if we do decide to talk about favorite consoles, though, obviously, upon building, watch out of that and learning, like, becoming a PC gamer. PC is obviously my favorite now. But if we're talking about just in general favorites of all time, I could go into that for maybe a couple of minutes. Yeah, I, I can briefly touch on it. Uh, I think uh, P PS2 and Xbox 360, those two were in my life for a very long time. I played a lot of Xbox 360. I think that's where Skyrim was. So I did a mm -hmm. couple hundred hours on that alone. I think I played Morrowind on... Was it on PlayStation 2? I don't know. Mm -hmm. I know it was on the original Xbox. I have no idea. Make, make them look better console I you know I think it was on the Xbox it was on the original Xbox and I had it on yep. there too so uh, I can't remember many PS2 games I played a few uh, Kingdom Hearts uh, yeah and Clank. I did do no I didn't do Ratchet and Clank I did do Kingdom Hearts I sucked at it my brother was better at that I uh, played Final Metal Gear Man. Solid sucked at that as well yeah I wasn't very good at so it a common theme here. yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm not good at video games it's gone don't my, worry, that my brother is interested in starting recording for his own YouTube, and he's gonna. He hasn't sure on his moniker yet. It's either gonna be Zebes or Chimera. Um, Chimera means something specific to him, and he can explain that on a future podcast if he wants to. But he's his uh, theme is gonna be Zebes sucks at like <laughs> didn't do the game. That's funny. like just it's rage quit basically. <laughs> nah, nah, nah. It depends Michael on the game. game battle. <laughs> I rage quit Watch Dogs 2. Did y'all? Did any of y'all see that? I did two episodes on it. No, I, I didn't watch those yet. Nah, you should. You should probably watch those. Like I, I at the end of the second video, I'm doing a chase scene, and it's really early in the game, and my car is exploding. I can't. I can't get away from the cops for like ten minutes straight. Actually, and it was no. I driving think I me did nuts. watch that. I did watch that. I remember you talking about that. I did watch that. You, that that's the only video I think I was actively screaming at. What, what about uh, Alien Isolation? <laughs> no, I was more frustrated. Like the, <laughs> the very last episode was episode ten, and that's already published. So that's good. That's the finale, essentially. At the end of that, I'm gonna be like, I'm gonna go look up a guide or something. I never did that. Instead, like I can't maneuver in that game because the thing pops up every fifteen seconds. And I'm like, I can't get anywhere. I, the map is confusing, and I just, I just gave up. 
I wasn't was scared. Was I was just I sucked at it. There's not enough lockers for you to hide in. Yeah, <laughs> I, w I was under a lot of tables. I was under so many tables. <laughs> Which is funny. Is... I always thought it was funny in in not only the movies but the game Alien Isolation. It's like this is supposed to be the ultimate killing machine in the universe, and you're hiding under a desk. <laughs> when it's, it's introduced like... in a cutscene, like the character can clearly see the whole thing and it just turns and leaves yeah and it's like what ultimate killing machine doesn't know you're hiding under the desk crying like a small child <laughs> <laughs> you can actually keep their cool when there's a huge alien running about the station killing everyone yeah I'll probably pee myself in all honesty yeah <laughs> she's like don't worry it, it won't be attracted to the smell of pee <laughs> <laughs> All right, Timber, if you want to go on for a couple minutes about consoles, uh, feel free to do so. Uh, to, to touch on small ones, uh, pretty much started with, like, I'd, I'd say, honestly, I don't ever think about it as my favorite, but if I had to honestly, honestly think about it, I would make the Super Nintendo my favorite console of all time, probably even above PC, just because it's kind of like, that's where I started with gaming with my granddad. We would play... Duck Hunt and Super Mario Brothers together all the time, like yep. just constantly. You remember, I remember you talking about that. Yeah. So like, if if that hadn't happened, if I hadn't hung, uh, spent so much time with my granddad playing that game, I may not have come this far as a gamer in yeah. terms of playing all I have. Um, so a couple other ones I'd, I'd have to touch on would be like probably a PlayStation One because I used to watch both of my uncles play a shit ton of PlayStation One games like Final Fantasy Seven and then like games that I played on it was like you know, Rampage and um, just some smaller uh, simple games. There's actually kind of a, a precursor to um, mm. what I, to me it's like a pre precursor to like the um, Sam Fisher games the what are they called Splinter Cell or I don't know if they, I don't know if they came out before or not honestly but there's a game called Siphon Filter which is basically just another Splinter Cell game but it was on like PlayStation One. Um, those that one simply just because of me watching people play it all like as a kid and playing a couple of games myself um game boy would probably be after that uh because me and my brother used to play the og pokemon red and blue uh we had game boys and we would play them until the batteries died which would suck because we forgot to save um and you know nintendo 64 would probably actually nintendo 64 probably rank second place just for the games that were on it uh smash Brothers and the legend of zelda games and all that those games like those are huge defining moments in my life of, of playing games, they, they, so that would probably fit in there. Um, and then you just kind of a smattering of the Xboxes and not really the Playstations too much after that, because like, well, PlayStation 2 for, um, we, we talked about Kingdom Hearts and everything, um, but I never really played too many PlayStation 3 games. Or play, I, mean, I don't I haven't played any PlayStation 4 games aside from going to my brother's house. Um, actually, one game, uh, PlayStation 3, uh, when my, 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 one of my uncles first got his PlayStation 3, me and him co opted through the entire campaign of a game called Resistance Fall of Man. I think I've heard of that. That was um, one of the launch titles, wasn't it? I, I, I think it was. it was. It was an amazing game. Um, think Gears of War, but a little less Unreal Tournament style looking, because it wasn't made <laughs> by Unreal. Um, okay, I remember seeing reviews and uh, uh, Let's Plays of that, I think, mm -hmm. but I never... I, I think that game was pretty... Like, the story and just, like, it, the weapons in that game were amazing. There was a a grenade if i remember right it was called the hedgehog grenade and it was like you'd throw it and it would just spray needles in every direction and it was cool because the way that it worked was uh hello yeah <laughs> i'm reaching for my phone i can't reach it 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 would um actually pin enemies to the wall if they were closer to the wall i'm almost falling out of my chair okay i'm, I'm good all right nice continue <laughs> uh, but yeah, the, so the hedgehog grenade, if there was an enemy close enough to a wall, it would actually pin them to the wall. And honestly, that being like a physics property in the game to me is just a really gratifying thing. Because, I mean, how many games have you wanted to pin something to a wall? Painkiller. Like, the whole yeah. series. Yeah, like just the, the ability to like, it's like you kill him, it's like, oh, look, he flopped down again. That's cool. But like the games where you can actually interact with dead bodies is amazing. I'm like, looking at a screenshot just... of one of the aliens, and they look really cool. Like he's got a bunch of like glowing nodules on his back and it's a cool design yeah the aliens uh i love the cover of it because it was like it's an alien skull inside of like a human helmet and i thought it was really cool if i remember correctly i don't know if they use humans to create the aliens in resistance i'm not sure i know they did that and um i think they did it in gears of war didn't they 
Um, I'm not entirely sure, but yeah. I think they did that uh, in the later, later games. I don't know, yeah. I can't really remember. Ran out of ideas. Yeah, it's hard to believe that's two thousand like 2006. That's 12 years ago now. Jesus Christ. <laughs> We're old. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh. But yeah, if you if, if you want to give a really fun game a chance, that's that's got a really great story to it. Um, it's kind of like a cross between like Half-Life 2 and Gears of War probably to me. It's, a, it's kind of what it would feel like to me. Um, recommend that one, definitely. And then pretty much the rest of the consoles are just the recent ones. First, you know, games here and there. Played a shit ton of Call of Duty games on Xbox 360. Started Skyrim on Xbox 360. Uh, still play that occasionally. I was actually playing that maybe yesterday, day before yesterday. Um, started a new playthrough. What, Skyrim? Yeah. Did you put like loads of mods in it? Oh, I mean, why wouldn't I? <laughs> <laughs> I think it's impossible to play Skyrim without modding it. Yeah, hashtag PC Master Race. Netflix. Fuck you, consoles. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but don't, don't, um, I think Xbox, do they not have uh, mods for it? They do, no. but it's very limited. No, Xbox, yeah, oh, no, Xbox yeah. One has it, but not, Xbox not, not the 360. Yeah. yeah. Ah, no, not the 360. It, it's How many like... times has uh, Skyrim been re-released? Re that, that's a meme, Jeez, uh, honestly. Yeah. That, a lot of people make fun of that. It was, yeah, it was the original one, it was, there was the special edition, then there was the VR one, um, then there was the PlayStation VR one, and now there is a another, like, it's some variation on the VR one. Switch one there, yeah, so. there's a Switch one, I think. Yeah, I, I can't wait to see what Bethesda are going to come out with next. Yeah, hopefully they come out with another single player game and not. I, actually, player. I have a little bit of knowledge on that. I there's nothing concrete, but I know they are not working on an Elder Scrolls right now. They're working on a new IP that's in this. Uh, they're still going to do a single player open world RPG. I'm totally okay with that. Bethesda makes yeah. does good work. So even though it's not in one of my favorite universes, Elder Scrolls means a lot to me personally. But if they can maintain that kind of format with a decent if it's a good game open world rpgs if on in their style i'm totally okay with that like they they'll give me give just mm, i'll eat it up no 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 yeah um if we're at, i do have a topic uh, i could talk about well uh, one idea is talk about like recent gaming news um i've been Googling podcast gaming topics and getting nothing. I'm just seeing tips and tricks. Mm -hmm. um, I saw one of them says, try not to cuss so much. I'm like, fuck that. Yeah. <laughs> You'll Damn alienate your you audience. Do. No. You're not my real dad. You don't know the internet, <laughs> asshole. <laughs> Boobies. Yeah. But, um... Hey, hey. Uh, click clickbait this shit. Make the, the screenshot for this video a pair of tits. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> no. That works, <laughs> apparently. Oh, I'm sure it does. So, there's a couple things that we could talk about. I, First... I tits, I click. <laughs> yeah, shut up. <laughs> First thing I want to talk about before uh, veering into a similar thing. How Did any of you play the Defiance MMO? No. I started to. I didn't get very far, but me and my brother played it a little bit together. Yeah, my brother and I, is. he's actually playing it now. He downloaded it again because Nerd. they've recently um, announced, I think a couple months ago, but me and my brother just, my brother and I, fucking grammar. Recently. Yeah, a couple months ago, they like in February, I think they announced it. My brother just linked it to me like last night. Uh, it's going to be called Defiance 2050. It's basically a remaster. I'm getting a little bit tired of remasters. Is anybody else? No. No? Oh, well. I, I don't think I am. Um, no, it depends how, depends how old the games are. Like, for example, yeah, the uh, whole Crash Bandicoot rem remastered. Like, that just brings back so much nostalgia. I remember back when uh, we didn't have a PlayStation. Well, actually, my older sister had the first PlayStation. And she would never ever let me on it. So that's the same thing. I used to have to sneak in when she wasn't there. So hey. I'm playing Crash Bandicoot. <laughs> and one day she uh, she left it open and she was like halfway through. She like was it the first one where you could kind of select the level? I can't remember. I'm, I don't say none of them one, honestly. I'm not one to ask about Crash Bandicoot. Uh, I only play uh, Cortex. But uh, there was one level anyway, and she hadn't selected it yet. So then I went through, and then I, I was awful at it, obviously, because I was young. And I just lost all our lives, and then she had to go back to like the beginning of it. 
I have some dead. Like, I, I, she just comes back. Can't wait to be crashed back, dude. <laughs> what happened? <laughs> I have an agenda. Like, I have no idea what happened. It must have just uh, started playing by itself. <laughs> It's hey. like the movie's still alive, the game just plays by itself. Is that what we going to say? Yeah, uh, to add on to that, uh, Final Fantasy X was recently remastered. That is a 2001 game. So, you know, 15 plus years later, they come out with like crisp HD textures. I really love that game. I played 22 hours of the recent remastered version. Here's the thing. It looks the fucking same. Like, the textures are a, slight, a little less pixely and crisp but all the faces still have that potato thing and they didn't even yeah. work on like basic speaking npcs like you talk to a priest early in the game he has the same face as he did in the playstation version like they didn't like nothing changed the, the leveling system was the same and i'm just i have something a little bit against all these remasters like i've played hundreds of hours of the skyrim remaster because the, but the only thing i really noticed was the sun had some like the god I think they're called god rays or something. Um, the lighting was a little bit better, but mostly it just looks the same to me, and that's why I just have a I'm get a little tired of hearing about these remasters. Defiance, uh, my brother and I played to whatever to the I don't think it was a max level. It was like a power level type thing. We got into the thousands. Um, uh, we really enjoyed it. It's a very it was it, it itched the Borderlands itch. That we had at the time when I had already played enough of Borderlands to be tired of it, but didn't li I like the genre, I like the style of it, and I'm just I'm a little tired of seeing all these remasters. Like, make new games. Stop dedicating so many resources to this when you can just use those resources to make a sequel. Like, that's that's my opinion on it. I I think it depends. Um, in terms of like, it depends on a few factors i think is that how old is the game like obviously the older it is the better it is to do a remaster for it yeah so like you wouldn't remaster a game that just came out two years ago You'd, like in terms of the final fantasy one uh, i played the old one i haven't played a remaster so i don't know what the remaster looks like um and it could just be a thing of like you think it looks the same but if you saw two comparisons side by side maybe it looks different um, see i did that for final fantasy and it, it's barely noticeable <laughs> like again the textures themselves are a little more crisp, but the game itself is the exact same. When I want to remaster, when I first started hearing about them, I was hoping they were remaking the game in current day I think, I think engines, and, and I don't. I think, yeah. I think that's the difference. I think the difference is uh, between a remaster and a remake. remake yeah, nobody does remakes. Yeah, I don't think. fully like, fully like you. Know, okay, this is what the game is. This is what these people are gonna look like in the character design. Now let's make that in today's technology. I, that would be a remake, yeah. but uh, like, let's take then, this and kind of like spice it up a little bit. Yeah, like taking an older game and like going back and using some like using newer technology to kind of like polish it up would be a remaster in my opinion. But like fully, re fully like redoing the engine, like Final Fantasy VII. That's an entire remake. That I'm hearing that, and I might be interested in looking into that. Yeah, you should definitely actually. While I'm talking, go ahead and look that up because the Final Fantasy because it's a, it's not even the same play style. Like it's not turn based, as far as I remember. Oh, that's too bad. Um, I think it's actually going to be like you do the thing, like it's like Final Fantasy 15. You actually attack yourself. Um, but in, I, I think that kind of depends with uh, a couple of factors being the, the time of it, um, how much people enjoy the game. Like you wouldn't you know you wouldn't remaster a shit game that nobody gave a fuck about. Like, you know, nobody's going to go back and remaster Minesweeper. Like, there's nothing you can do to that. Nobody oh cares. God. It's already perfection. Imagine, <laughs> I know, right? Imagine if, like, they tried to I'm not that. really talking about that kind of thing. Yeah. Mines but, um, Minesweeper, to, 3D. Yeah, my, what, you mean uh, Bomberman? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Bomberman, that's um, that's a good... I, I need to find a multiplayer version of that. We need to yeah. play some of they, that. Yeah, those, go. those are fun. Bomberman remastered, now with multiplayer. Let's do this. Yeah. <laughs> There's already one like it. Let me see if it's still on my yeah. wish list. I know there's a game mode Gmod for it. See, if Gmod didn't crash my computer, that'd be fun. I know, right? Gotta get that fixed. Yeah. Uh, timing, timing, um, critic and public review are a factor, um, as well as I think the, I don't know the exact word for it, but kind of like what's going on currently in gaming. Like, what's everybody on now? What's you know, Can you make a new game to fit that? Or is there an older game that we can remaster to, like, kind of grasp the public attention? 
like you know everybody in like at this time like so right right now everybody's shitting themselves for battle royale games yeah which oh, are all yeah. ripoffs of each other oh did you hear that uh call of duty is thinking yes, about doing I, I don't yeah. really want to talk I about think, it I, that's I heard, that's what I heard. <laughs> halo i don't want to talk about this. Battle royale as well halo kind of already did though didn't they Technically um, speaking, yeah. They, some, they, they, not, they didn't call it Battle Royale. Royale mode. Yeah, not, I guess not dedicated. I feel like they had a mode that was similar. But um, yeah. But yeah. Sh uh, short story, and so we don't have to actually go into detail of it. Fucking, if you haven't heard, Call of Duty's new multiplayer bullshit is a Battle Royale. But, yeah. Uh, nobody gives a fuck. Battle Royale, <laughs> Bang Dragon. Some, actually, one thing, I don't want to touch on the Battle Royale shit. I don't want to touch on the campaign of this. I heard from whatever I was reading the article about it, was that the campaign's not even going to be in the game. It's going to nope. release in a later yeah, date. Yeah, I heard they weren't going to do a campaign yeah. for Black Ops Yeah, it's, it's like a campaign DLC. Like, what the fuck are it's you doing? It's going to get uh, reviewed on. Story, you get it there hasn't been a yeah. decent Call of Duty in many, many years. I bought into... Uh, let me look at my Steam call of... The, the last good one was Advanced Warfare for me. Here's the thing. Everything okay, I'm done. glad you mentioned that. That's the one that I did the whole, like, $100 pre-order thing and then a few weeks into it i have 27 hours played on the multiplayer at a certain point matchmaking became non-existent like it took me 10 minutes to find the game if i could and i bought all into that because it looked really good and that's and then people just stopped playing it yeah i i honestly enjoyed advanced like at first i was like nah this is fucking stupid i'm gonna hate it i played it but i played the like just like pretty much every other call of duty game before it me and my brother played the hell out of the multiplayer together because at the time we were both on 360 now i'm on pc and he's on ps4 so we don't really play anything together um except maybe fortnite and we haven't done that since i actually took my computer to his house for a weekend and we played it together there but um so back on 360 me and my brother played the shit out of like almost every call of duty game we played we played uh, advanced warfare for probably hundreds of hours we probably played um ghosts for hundreds of hours uh, all the modern warfares, like they were all amazing. I think uh, Black I, Ops Two still has a community on it. Probably a lot of people. It. A lot of people seem to like Black Ops. I like. Honestly, I like Black Ops Two. Black Ops Two was Black amazing, Ops. actually. Yeah. I actually didn't like the multiplayers for Bla either one of the Black Ops games. It, I don't know what it was. If it was maybe a different person, like a different company, made those two games in particular. But it was something about it between the gameplay of like Modern Warfare games and like Ghost and that. Something was different about Black Ops, and I couldn't tell you what it was, but I didn't like it. I don't know why. Oh I, wow, Black Ops Two is still sixty dollars. That's I, not I'm, good. I'm actually it's twenty twelve. It's yeah. six years I'm old. Complete opposite with that. Well, like I prefer the Black Ops uh, gameplay over the That's where you're like, wrong. Modern Warfare. Yeah, because like I played Black Ops Two and Black Ops Three, and I I'd actually. I'd, I'd actually like enjoy it, but then I play like Modern Warfare and Ghost mm -hmm. and all that, and I'm like, something doesn't feel right. <laughs> yeah, I don't it's, like it. There's actually the funny, uh, a funny tie back into the uh, the whole remake conversation. When they uh, released Infinite Warfare, they also released was it Modern Warfare Two or Modern Warfare One or whatever? Modern Warfare One, the first one, the the first one okay, I believe, so they, yeah. they re-released it with it. And the funniest shit is that everybody bought Infinite Warfare just to play Modern Warfare. Nobody gave a fuck about Infinite That's Warfare. That's exactly why they did it, though. Yeah. yeah. A lot of people actually bought it, and then they would, like, return it just as Infinite Warfare, and they keep the Modern Warfare disc. I think. Unless, <laughs> unless you yeah, because it, it came with a download code. Yeah. Um, which, to me, is the funniest shit. Um, I had so much fun playing, like, the Modern Warfare games, and my favorite game mode of all of it was always either Gun Game or Infected. Like oh, I love oh it. God. I love the gun Thornos. game. See, I just played yeah. Gun Game on Counter Strike and then called it a day. Like it's... Gun Game has been the death of so many like my controller. <laughs> uh, yeah, probably. I, I'm I'm probably one of the people to blame for that because my one of my favorite things to do in Gun Game was to actually go around and melee people because you like, sicken me. Yeah, <laughs> you, <laughs> you disappoint uh, me. <laughs> anybody who decides to listen to this at some point and doesn't know what Gun Game is in Call of Duty. Basically, everybody starts off with like a shit gun, like a pistol or some shit. Yeah, um, like usually like the basic starter yeah. pistol. Yeah, they, they kind of randomize it. Sometimes you don't start with that, but it's typically in some order. It's like you start with a pistol, you get a kill. Then you, it changes into another weapon, maybe a shotgun, maybe an, uh, a machine gun or something. An Uzi um, is usually yeah, an early game whatever. one. Um, somewhere about middle to like three-fourths of the way through the gun list is when you'll start. You'll hit like one or two snipers. 
um, I think. But usually, uh, it's basically you, you get a kill, you rank up. If you get killed yourself, if, if somebody kills you, nothing happens. You, they, they rank up, but you don't. You, you respawn with the same gun. Unless they melee you. If they melee you, you de rank. So you go back to whatever the previous gun was. <laughs> I see why I, I get the joke now of you disgust me. <laughs> yes, this was fucking hilarious. Uh, I actually, I, I'm pretty sure I made like a 12 year old shit himself. Uh, I, uh, I'd say probably Alex was less senior than that. Because like me and him would play and he'd just like come up behind me and knife me. And I'd be like, I'd yeah, just like kind of look at him. I'd be like, I would play that game to intentionally knife people. Just, it was fucking, so, like, I would play some games. Like just, I'd try to win or I'd do, do my best. But there were some days where I'd go in there and I'd be like, you know what? I'm going to fuck somebody's day up. <laughs> <laughs> and it was literally just, you'd run through there and you knife people. And obviously in in-game chat, you know, there's a lot of 12-year-olds on Xbox who are saying things they shouldn't be saying. So it's yeah, like, you talk about you, you'd run behind, you would, you'd see, you would see, the best time was if you saw somebody get a kill and then you knifed them because you know that they just got a kill. They're like, yeah, I ranked up. And then you immediately just take all that joy. Like, you horrible, horrible. The, yeah, yeah. <laughs> was like, it's always the children playing in voice chat it was hilarious as shit because yeah. you knife them and they just oh my god no screaming <laughs> like, there I, is I, an I, entire genre on youtube of young people freak out yeah it's, it's glorious some of them is like you know your mom needs to beat you and then some is like yeah I'm, i'll probably cause that <laughs> a lot <laughs> like that was probably my favorite thing is just making people who are younger than me freak out it's funny we just spent like the last 10 minutes shitting on call of duty but god we're talking about it aren't we uh, we're shitting on certain parts of Call of Duty. Yeah, fair uh, enough. <laughs> some some of their games are kind of like, okay, you made this game just to make more money, because people oh, yeah. are gonna people enjoyed your last game, so now they're gonna buy another this one. Mm -hmm. Um, like Infinite Warfare. I don't, I, I haven't heard anything about Infinite Warfare. I was gonna mention, I was on the Steam page. Yeah. Um, the, it's mixed reviews, but mostly negative. Yeah. Um, I'm sure of nobody the, played of the eight thousand six hundred fifty reviews, it's mostly negative. Yeah. And I bet if you looked at, like, Modern Warfare's, they'd be mostly positive. Yeah. Um, I remember playing Modern Warfare 2's demo at a game store at some point. Yeah, it's 2009. I played it on one of the many, like, demo things that they had. Mm -hmm. And it was really enjoyable. But I have it as not interested on my computer, because it's probably too old for me now. Yeah. That's something you don't really get anymore, is it? Demos. I can't remember the last time I've seen a demo. Um, they're scattered. <laughs> they're around. Yeah, see, around. The, the demo they're is you game. you buy a game on Steam, play it for two hours, and then refund it if you don't like it. That's your demo. Yeah, yeah but that's not the same. Do you know what I mean? Like, yeah, because you still got to... It's, just... it's an exchange of money, so a it doesn't feel yeah, like a demo. demo doesn't need your credit card information. <laughs> yeah. 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 Uh, it seems like all the ones that everybody knows are the popular ones, like all the Modern Warfare's, uh, Black Ops 1 and 2 are all like positive or mostly positive very positive whatever like 80s and 90s percentage um and all the ones that you wouldn't ex that you would expect to not be popular aren't popular uh yeah. advanced warfare black ops 3 modern warfare uh, modern warfare remastered is actually mixed that's kind of surprising God, I actually give because it's a black money grub because remasters yeah. are stupid and they look the same they're not remasters <laughs> that's my that was my point earlier that's why it's mixed well, yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm not the only one out there that feels that that's because Little differences between Crash Bandicoot. I mean, yeah, but I'm saying like that's because you were expecting a remake, not a remaster. Yeah, yeah, but now it's the it's all the rage right now. They're just Actually, remastering. Shadows of Colossus. They've got remastered as well. Yeah, I heard that's fucking amazing. Like I heard yeah. it looks. So See, that's good. the thing. The P that uh, my brother played it on PS2. It still looks okay. Like that doesn't need a remaster, as yeah, far as I'm it, concerned. It can... Yeah, but yeah, I mean, to be can... fair, that game was mostly, it's just like an empty landscape with a couple of giants. It's not really much you could fuck up with I'm, that. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> like, it's, and it's it was still gorgeous. So, um, uh, so anyway, uh, if I may. Wanna... No. You want to? Uh, no, you, you may no, not. Just, uh, one, <laughs> one small thing. One more thing. The modern, Go. Yeah, the, the Modern Warfare remastered actually went to the page of it. All reviews are mixed, but the recent reviews are mostly positive. Okay. Apparently. Anyway, uh, if y'all don't mind this going, it, we're approaching an hour right now. If y'all don't mind going another 10, 15 minutes, I have one more topic that I'd like to talk about. Destiny yeah, 2. Debatable. Um, Conk and Pasta, did y'all play Destiny 2 at all? 
No. No. Well, then never mind then. I'm I'm a, I'm a broke white boy. I don't, I mean, I don't I, play that new gen. I mean, so. I'm a broke white boy, but I got Destiny too. Yeah. I'm, well, I'm, I'm on a part-time bag. You're a broke white boy with a job. <laughs> I'm not exactly as lucky. All right. <laughs> well, then I don't want to alienate y'all. Then. That's about it. Then I think we're oh. good to wrap it up. If y'all don't mind, did y'all have any parting thoughts about anything? The Red Sea. Okay, <laughs> shut up. It's, my, it's a party stop. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'll stop. I'll stop. We're good. Ro Rocket League's on sale, by the way. <laughs>